Hello everybody and welcome back to Chief Parker's Arcade Room where we're doing another installment of Greg vs. Cheryl on the uh, virtual pinball machine here in the arcade room. We're back to doing a little more Pinball FX by Zen. And we're going to do Curse of the Mummy two-player mode. So uh, here we go. Let's see how we do. She uh, didn't do so well on the uh, Stingray real pinball machine a little bit ago, so uh, I told her I'd get her a chance to get even here on the uh, video pinball machine. Again, Curse of the Mummy, uh, Zen Studios Pinball FX. Let's see if we can get this going. This one, oh, I hope ball save, ball save. This one's got two little areas way up on top, Cheryl. They got flippers in them too if the ball gets up there. Well, these aren't in air, these don't look like they're on the normal play. It looks like the ball's gotta end up up there somehow. Oh, I almost, it goes up this one ramp. Oh, there it is. You'll see it distinctly when you see it. Oh, ball drain. Okay. Let's see. I got 546,770, and Cheryl is up. Yeah, they're up there, they kept hitting it at first. I didn't do anything. <laughs> well, yeah, the flippers go all the time with the flip, but you got to get the ball up there. And I think it's through these ramps over here. Oh, straight down the middle. Ball save. This one seems to play a little faster than the others. Yeah, uh, well. Ball lost. Okay, 187,000, I got 1 million something, so. But, you know, you got that skill shot, and I don't even know what the skill shot is. And I keep forgetting about those flippers up there. Yeah, but only if the ball gets up there. Oh, it's up there, but I keep forgetting about... Oh, I just knocked it in. I keep forgetting to hit them. The DMV on these is really small. And yeah, I can't read I'm trying to figure out a way to... You know, you can adjust the screen size for the back glass in cabinet mode, but that little BMD that's in there is, uh, I've tried every way I know to figure out how to make that bigger. And I noticed that, and it's not an adjust setting, because on some of the other tables, doggone it, right down the middle. On some of the other tables, it is bigger. And using the same setting, so. But it is a cool looking, cool sounding table. And straight down the middle. Ball out. 
one million eight hundred fifty-four thousand. You got six hundred sixty-nine thousand. It says, "Oh, hit the flashing." There's something up there you gotta hit that's flashing for a skill shot. So you might try it going easy on them. I've been doing easy on the whole thing, and so now I'm not gonna go easy anymore. <coughs> I didn't get any saves, no well. Oh, well, let's see. Ooh, you broke a million, though. I did, but it went. Let's see. Well, you can't see. There's okay. only five, I think. Well, here we go on the main screen. Uh, okay, player one was 1,854,000. Let me go ahead and enter. Just player two here. has no clue. <laughs> What's up? Oh, well, you can see it. Okay, and player two, one million one hundred twenty-five thousand six sixty-three. You know, that's one thing I critique on them is I wish they show at the end of the game. I wish they show both scores up on the DMV. Yeah. Well, at least I broke a million. That makes me happy. I didn't think I would. Well, oh, here we go. Now we finally got it. 1,854, 1,125. Still not bad, considering the first time we played this. Yeah, that's true. All right, I win this time. I finally caught a break. Next Thanks. time I'm getting you. That's right, she'll get me next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Just thought I'd uh, put up another installment of Greg vs. Cheryl. I'm here in G. Parker's Arcade this time. Curse of the Mummy. Zen Studios, Pinball FX. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching.